Right, appetizers, homemade wings. Page three, we're just on the cellar bar. It's like an encyclopedia, this thing. Yeah. How many items on this menu? I don't know. I haven't tried all the things on the menu. You'd be in your 80s if you did. I'll give you a couple minutes. Please. For an hour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, six, four, seven, four, eight, 49, 50, 51, 52, 96, 97, 90. Eight, 99, 100. Holy mackerel. 90, 170, 190, 210. I've lost count. I've lost count at 270 and I'm only halfway through. I'm not starting that again. You ready? I'm gonna go for the fried tortellini. Okay. With a homemade marinara sauce. No problem. Coca van. Coca van? Say again. The Coca van. Coco is something you drink at night. <laughs> Coca van. Coca van. It's from France. Chicken with burgundy sauce. I've just never seen it on a uh, diner menu. Um, what else? Let's do the uh, lamb gyro. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm sat in like seven different restaurants right now. But let's go for the BLT. Let's do the lobster BLT. Yeah? Do you like side fries? Yes. I'll get it out for you. Come on, let me help you. Come here. I'll give it to you. Let's go. We good? Oh, yes. There we are. Thanks, darling. <laughs> All right, I guess, I guess we're doing lobster. Oh boy. What is this, the coca van? Coca de van. Coca de van. Okay. Co... Coven? Coca van. Coca van. Thank you. And the lamb gyro. Lamb gyro, thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, when I think of a lamb gyro, I think of that nice, beautiful shaved meat. Oh dear. Well, that doesn't look freshly shaved. I don't feel good. No? That's about as Greek as Donald Trump. You'd think they'd specialize in something like this. I've got a headache. Okay. First time for me. Coca van in a diner. Coca van is a beautiful braised chicken dish with red wine, onions, garlic, butter mushrooms. Oh my lord. This chicken wasn't cooked in the last 24 hours. This thing is like a dinosaur Coca van. Oh my god. That is a slurry of. Why would anyone attempt to do something so fine dining in a diner? Oh boy. Homemade tortellinis. I don't know why they said they're homemade, because they look like store-bought sauce. Wow, they taste of absolutely cool. Filling's escaped. I've got more cream cheese in a zit. Chetty, who's stuffing these? Well, I don't think they're meat in-house. Oh, because they say homemade on the menu. Page 74, item 379. And the coca van, someone needs to go back to France. I'll pay for the flight. No I'm good. Sorry. Coca van, my ass. Cal, he said there's no filling in the fried tortellini. Man? Yeah. And the, the coca van, he just said he'll pay for your flight back to France. He ordered a, a French dish, co coca van. Coca, coca van. I'm not really sure how to say it, but that's not our specialty. Tortellini with the fried tortellini. And we just basically served a Michelin star chef fried pasta. It explodes in the fryer, and it all, all the cheese leaks. Nobody said anything all this time. It's been on the menu for like a year. I never saw one. Yeah. OK, lobster BLT. Oh, boy. Three dingy bits of lobster. The lobster's raw. It's mush, and it is rancid. Cherry, just smell that for two seconds. It's not even cooked. It's just like a, a lettuce sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> That's fine if you're a rabbit, but it's the tastiest thing on the menu. The lobster on the BLT was raw. Was raw? That's one thing to cook. The worst complaint is definitely the undercooked lobster and the potential of getting somebody sick. The last thing you want in this business is to hurt somebody. Unbelievable. I'm gonna cry. <laughs>